What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are rolling out into the Coliseum with everybody's favorite Sinnoh fire type, Magmortar. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. It really goes a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But yeah, we're hopping back to the Coliseum, playing some BDSP. It is always fun to hop into the BDSP ladder. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Magmortar. This Pokemon's so cool. It has two like fire cannons on his hands. It just doesn't get us much better than that. Just look at his design. His design is phenomenal. I'm so glad that they gave uh, Magmar an evolution, especially a third evolution when uh, this game came out. So it was really cool to see his Pokemon, just like Electifier, just both amazingly designed. But we gave it the choice Scarf as I am so we can outspeed a lot of Pokemon. Its EVs are fully invested in special attack and then split between HP and speed because we're not going to need that much speed because it is choice Scarfed. Our ability is going to be Flame Body, and then since we are Choice Scarf, our move set is all over the place. We got Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Overheat, and Psychic. So we got one sad move, one heavy hitting sad move, and then we got Thunderbolt and Psychic for two covers moves. Second Pokemon on team is going to be this Ninetales over here. Ninetales can set the drought, make a Magmortar do more damage. They're going to be best buddies in today's video. Ninetales has Heat Wave, has Protect, it has Solar Beam, and then it has will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers. Ability is going to be the drought, like I already mentioned, and then the item for this Pokemon is going to be the Expert Belt. Third Pokemon on today's team is one of my favorites from BDSP. It is Haunch Daddy over here. Haunch Crow with the Citrus Berry as his item. We brought Haunch Crow over here for two reasons. Big physical attacking damage, and another reason is for Tailwind Speed Control. Its ability is going to be Insomnia, so it cannot be uh, put to sleep. And its moveset is Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Night Slash, and Brave Bird for two heavy hitting stab damage. And then we got Tailwind, like I already mentioned, for that beautiful Speed Control in that battle. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Gyarados. Gyarados is just so good at BDSP, and I love using him on every single team. He's just so good. He fits so many roles, and he's just a dominant Pokemon in BDSP. I love it so much. It's got Waterfall. It's got Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Obviously, it's Rock and Intimidate as its ability, and then the item we gave it is going to be that Lumberry to take off any status conditions our opposing opponent puts on this beautiful Dragon Gyarados. It's a Dragon, but it's not a Dragon type. Really, really, really weird. Really weird. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Raichu, more speed control and a fake out user with this guy. We got Focus Sash as its item, and then it's got the Lightning Rod as its ability. And I've really brought it on because I have two flying type Pokemon, and Lightning Rod just helps protect us from those electric hitting moves. But I just gotta remember, I cannot use Thunderbolt with Magmortar if Raichu is on the field. Unless I want to boost his special attack, but chances are I'd rather just hit with Magmortar. Move set for this guy is gonna be fake out, nuzzle for paralyzes, full switch to pivot out, and brick break to break screens. Final Pokemon on today's team is another great physical attacker. We got Tyranitar over here. It's got Dragon Dance, Protect, Crunch, Rock Slide, Sandstream as its ability, and then finally the item that we gave it is Life Orb to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. But guys, there's a team preview. This is what we're rolling out with Magmortar. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins. Hopping into battle number one here, and I'm almost positive in my last BDSP video that uh, we went up against the same opponent and a similar team to this, right? Am I right? If you guys watch my BDSP comp, uh, content make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if we versus this team before but he's got slow bro he's got aerodactyl scissor entei titar and storm drain Claydale over here okay um i could go meg mortar and nine tails i mean the only way he can change up weather would be titar or i could just go meg mortar alongside with like haunch crows try to set up trick room or not trick room try to set up tailwind and kind of go from there but aerodactyl is definitely a potential lead right Aerodactyl could be a strong lead for him. So I could go Magmortar alongside with Raichu. Just to fake out somebody and kind of roll out from there. And he could pop a trick room here as well. With that uh with that slow bro. With the bros that is slow. So I think I'm, I'm gonna go Raichu. I think I am gonna go Titar here. I think I'm not even gonna bring Drought and I think I'm just gonna bring Gyarados. Right? I kinda dig that. I feel like having Raichu and Magmortar can really help us out here. This has a nice little lead. I can fake out, turn one, get off some big damage with Flamethrower. Kind of can roll out from there. But we'll see. We shall see. I do have Overheat as well, but I'm kind of worried about the Scissor, right? Scissor could be a problem. Scissor could be a problem, especially if he takes out my Magmortar. Scissor can be a problem. So let's see who he ends up leading. Is it going to be Aerodactyl? It's going to be Claydally and Slowbro. So Trick Room is obviously like 100% an option here. I might protect the Claydally, right? He might just protect the Claydally, and I might just choice into this. 
And I might just double down into this because I'm going to predict a choice, right? Unless he goes for a rock move or not a choice. I'm going to predict like a, a protect from Claydol, right? It's definitely an option. That's right. Slowbro could be oblivious. This thing can protect. And we kind of roll from there. But if it doesn't protect and just drops an inch power into my Mag Warner, that could hurt the soul a little bit. Because I don't know if we can eat that up. We'll see. Or he can go for a Surf. A Surf is definitely an option. That's a scary option here as well. Because if it Surfs, it gets the Storm Drain boost. You can kind of roll from there. Right? Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, But hopefully he protects the Claydolly and we get off these uh, free Volt Switches and this free uh, Thunderbolt. And maybe we can take out the Slowbro and kind of roll from there. Could be a solid turn. Could be a solid turn from us. But we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see. Go ahead. Protect the Claydolly. Protect the Claydolly. Stop wasting my time. Make a move. And just protect the Claydolly. Because I know you want to do that. He does not protect the Claydolly. And oh my god. Didn't I say that in team preview? Didn't I just say that in team preview? Did not go for Thunderbolts here? Okay. That works. That works though. We get a crit. That, that, that works. That somehow worked. I said it in a team preview. I said, I just got to watch out for using Thunderbolts with Raichu on the field. What is what what is the first play I do? I drop a Thunderbolt with Raichu on the field. That is awful. Um, I don't think he goes after Gyarados. Um, I could go T-Tar. I could go T-Tar. Mm. I don't want to go T-Tar, though. I think I'd rather go Gary here. No, he's Storm Drain. You know, we're going to go T-Tar. We have to get rid of this Claydolly. Claydolly is probably going for an Ancient Power. I do have Thunderbolt ready to roll. And that is hilarious. And like the first thing I do is go into a, a lightning rod shot with my Mag Mortar. I think it's hilarious. So we end up getting rid of him. He goes for an ancient power. Oh, into this slot. We'd like that. I don't mind that turn. I don't mind that turn. And please don't get the okay, he didn't. I was gonna say, please don't get the uh the stat boost. Alright, so Buffett's fly through. Clearly is chilling here. It has ancient power. Um I might hard swap it here. Really depends on who he goes into. I'm gonna go into T-Tar, and I think I am just gonna intimidate that T-Tar here. Right, intimidating the T-Tar could be the play. Because I'd rather swap the Mag Mortar and get a different move ready to go. And I could also Dragon Dance on top of this. So I think it's going to be my play. I'm going to just go for the D-Dance here. I'm going to try to get after it. I just got to remember, I cannot go for a Storm Drain shot into the... Uh, or not Storm Drain shot. I cannot go for a Water move into the Claydolly or the T-Tar. Because Claydolly has Storm Drain, so Ice Fang's going to be the play. So I'm going to withdraw the Mag Mortar here. Swap into Gary to Gyarados here. Drop an Intimidate, which is huge, which is lovely. Getting after that T-Tar, because you know T-Tar is a beast of a physical attacker. And clearly he's going to take it as well, but that's fine. This thing is special attacking. I'm going to D-Dance up. I already have speed, which is gorgeous. So if he wants to D-Dance here as well, we will have more speed than him. And then we'll kind of go from there. Then we shall go from there. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to go for a Rock Slide. Okay, uh, Gyarados, you should be able to eat. Yep, thank you, Gyarados. And hopefully he's not doubling down. Into Actually, could be going for Giga Drain. He does go for Giga Drain. You should be able to soak that. You don't. Are you kidding me, T-Tar? Are you kidding me? That hurts soul. It was a crit. It was a crit. It's okay because, you know, my bolt switch got a crit. So it happens. It happens. It hurts, though. It hurts, though. It really does hurt. So I could go back into Raichu. I cannot choice into... I think I'm just going to choice to a flamethrower at this point. And... Oh, dude, that hurts, man. That really does hurt. That really does hurt. And I am just going to go for an Ice Fang here. And I think I just double down into this Pokemon. The problem here is that Rock Slide is going to uh, pick up a double KO. That Rock Slide is going to pick up the double KO. I don't like this. Flame Thrower comes through here, but we got to get rid of this Pokemon before anything. So hopefully he can miss a Rock Slide and we can kind of go from there. And I don't even think we're going to pick up a KO here. Can we? Can we KO you? No, I think it's too bulky. I think it's way too bulky. He's going to go for a Rock Slide and there's double KO. Hurts his soul. He might more to eats, but he's probably going for an Ancient Power. Right? That first match hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. For sure, for sure. For sure it hurts the soul. For sure it hurts the soul. But I was gonna say, yo, T-Tar drop into that Giga Drain on a Claydolly. I was like, there's no way it could do it unless it's a crit and then it pops up. It was a critical hit. I was like, no! It's like no shot. No shot. No shot. But that's kinda on me. I made a big mistake by going into a Thunderbolt right off the rip. Really did me dirty. I should have went into a different move. And kind of roll out from there, but that's gonna be battle number one. Your boy gets absolutely ripped on here. We're gonna hop into our second battle. Look for our first victory.
Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a super cool team. They got Lopany, Nido King, Electrode, Kangaskhan with Fake Out. I gotta remember that. And then he's rocking Heracross and Altaria. Altaria is such a cool Pokemon, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I really want to go into like the Sun combo here with Ninetales and Magmortar, but my only problem here would be like Nido King could rip into us, especially if he goes Kangaskhan. But I could always hard swap into like Honchko or something. So I could actually lead Honchko, try to get Tailwind up. That could be pretty good. Go. Tailwind with Honchkrow and then maybe roll into could roll into an Intimidate turn one. It's not too bad. Or I can go into like Raichu or something. But yeah, I feel like he has to lead the ground Nido King, right? Makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. But I could go Ninetales because I think Ninetales might have a slight chance of outspeeding here. And I could pop a Solar Beam. Because weather would be good for us all the way, right? So I might just go Ninetales. I could protect turn one and just pop a Tailwind. That is a solid turn for us. I don't mind that. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ninetales. I'm gonna go Honchkrow. We're gonna bring Magmortar in the back, and then last but not least, I feel like Gyarados is the play. Is Gyarados better off here, or should I go Titar? I really like Gyarados here. Gyarados just can't get a lot of work done. I'm digging it. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. Let's look for our first win in today's video, because that last battle, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it, to be honest. I was saying in team preview, I was just like, yo, jeans, all you gotta do is not go for Lightning Rod, while Raichu's on the field, or not go for Thunderbolt while Raichu's on the field, and you'll be good. First play of the video. Bang, I do that. Awful. But he ends up leading the Nino King, just like I thought. I'm gonna go Honchkrow and Ninetales, and I could... I'm thinking I'm just hard protecting here, right? And I'm dropping a Tailwind. Could definitely be our play. Right, Tailwind. Protect. Kind of go from there, because I can always hard swap into Gyarados next turn. I think this is a simple play, so I'm gonna roll out with that. Hopefully he doesn't read my protect. That would be a beautiful protect. Or a beautiful read. That would be a beautiful read. A beautiful, lovely little read. Yeah, Nido King's a beast. Doesn't it have sheer force, right? Where it, it just does more damage, but it doesn't get, like, the uh, after effects of moves. I believe it does learn that. So this thing can hit, like, a truck. So we're going to see how this happens or how this one plays out. We're going to protect our lovely little Ninetales. And what's he going to go into? He's going to end up going into a fake out. And that one hurts his soul. I think I hurt soul and it goes for an earth power. So, mm, I could hard swap for intimidate. I think that's gonna be my best bet, right? Physical attackers on the field. I flinch. We're gonna go for his tailwind. And I'm just gonna hard swap the nine tails into the Gyarados here. Lovely little Gyarados. So, intimidate on two physical attackers. I do like this turn. I dig it a lot. And I'm hoping he's just going for another earth power just so we can set up this tailwind and kind of get rolling out from there, right? That could be a solid turn for us. But yo, Honcho is sick, yo. One of the coolest design Pokemon ever. Legit, like, a, he's, he's, he's like a mafia boss. Look at him with that hat. Look at him. Just chilling. He has that feather hat. Looks amazing. Such a cool Pokemon design. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. But well, we're going to hard swap into Gyarados. We are going to pop a nice little bit intimidate on two physical attackers. And we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Yeah, yeah. He's going to end up going for a... Oh! Fake tier me. Leave me alone. Back here in my Honchkrow. Can Honchkrow outspeed, please? I don't think it does. What's he going for? He's going for Sludge Bomb. Can you eat that? Oh, dude, fake tears to me. Dirty. And this thing's special attacking. I actually should have known since he used Earth Power. So we don't get off the bat. I'm going to go and destroy Scarf Boy at this point. Right? Playing throw into the opening. Oh, I can get rid of the Nido King. What should I do here? I'm going to flame throw into. I think I just double down on the Nido King here. Good Dragon Dance, but I feel like we have to double down at the Nido King here. Nido King's hitting way too hard at this point. So I'm just going to go into a Waterfall. I know that the Drought's out and about, but I just feel like Waterfall's still the play. Yep, we go for a Flamethrower. Chipping up some damage here. How much damage does this do? Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's huge, yo. Magmore's hitting like a truck. He's hitting like a truck. He's outspeeding a lot here. Fake Tears is coming in here. That's totally fine. And who you Fake Tear him? I Fake Tear my Gyarados. I could have Dragon Dance here. That could have been a good play. I'm going to end up dropping a Waterfall, which is solid. Boom. Doing a little bit of damage. And a Flamethrower should be able to take out that little bunny. So I could protect Gyarados. I could hard swap him. Hmm. Options, options, options. Options, options, options. And who's my final Pokemon in the back end? We had Haunchcrow. We had Gyarados. Oh, we have Ninetales chilling here. So Ninetales isn't too bad. Especially in the drought, it can do some big damage. But I can take out little bunny here if I want to. But if he throws out a special attacker, I might just hard swap. Hmm, what do I want to do? Well, we know our Magmortar outspeeds everything. Right? With the Choice Scarf. Unless he has a Choice Scarf Pokemon. We'll see. 
we shall see. But I wonder who he's going to go into. If it's Altaria, I don't... Hmm. If it's Altaria, I might just want to hard swap and save my Gyarados with the Ice Fang. Because I really don't want him to get faked or dropped. He's going to go Kangaskhan. So Fake Out is ready to roll. Fake Out is ready to roll. I still think I go here. And I might just D-Dance. I might just D-Dance. Because again, I think they're physical attackers on the field. There's no way they're special. Right. Kangaskhan is more on the physical side. Unless he's going crazy again. That Nido King I could have sworn was a physical attacker. I think their physical attacker is higher, but he threw me a curveball, had special attacking moves, sludge bomb, earth power. I don't want after me that way. But yeah, I'm gonna stay in here. I'm gonna try to get rid of this little here. He's gonna fake out one of my Pokemon. I wonder who it's gonna be. So he's gonna fake out my Magmortar here. Ooh, taking a huge chunk of damage, Magmortar. And this little pony is gonna go for a low sweep that should KO me, right? Oh no, it doesn't. I thought that was a rock move for a second. He's gonna low sweep me. He is going to drop my speed. And I'm gonna burn that thing. I like that old. It's a big time burn. So that's a big time burn. We are gonna D dance up here. I don't mind that. And I still think a flamethrower. I still think we outspeed, right? With the choice scarf. It's gonna be cutting it close. It's gonna be cutting it close. So that thing is burned. I could go after Kangaskhan here. Because I'm kind of not worried about the opening too much anymore. So I might just double into this Kangaskhan here with that. And I could Dragon Dance again. Or I can just go for an Ice Fang. I think we go for an Ice Fang. Get off as much damage here. Because a low pony burned. It ain't doing much. It ain't doing much. It has fake tears. has all that stuff. Let me chill in here. So Ice Fang's going to fly here. Do a nice chunk of damage here. And Low Sweep's going to come in here. And he's going to slow me down. That's fine. We're back to normal speed. You're not doing too much damage. It's kind of here just pestering around here. Magmortar, can you outspeed? You do not. This thing double edges my Magmortar, right? And takes me out. Okay. And we burn it too. That's that's huge. Flame Body coming in clutch. Flame Body coming in clutch. So we throw out Nine Tails here. He has Low Sweep ready for some speed. He's going to take some recoil damage alongside with a... Uh, some burns. Let's see, do you already take the burns? No. So there's the burns. The burns coming out here. Loving it. I could D dance again. But oh, the sunlight's gone, which I really wanted it to be. But I have to send it back out here with Nine Tails. <laughs> I have to send it back out here with Nine Tails. Okay, so I think we just drop a Heat Wave. I think Heat Wave can pick up KOs. And then I could D dance again. I'm thinking of doing that. Because who could his final Pokemon be? Definitely Heat Wave coming out here. I don't think they can KO us. And I think I just D dance. I really do think I just D-dance up and kind of pose a threat with this Gyarados. So we'll see what he wants to do. Solid, solid battle. Solid, solid battle, especially if we can come out on top here. The Magmortar coming in clutch. That Flamethrower killing the Nidoking on top of uh, on top of the double Flame Bodies for Burns. Which is huge. Which is huge. I'm going to end up D-dance again. He's going to slow me down. He's going to go with this Kang's Kong. And hopefully we can... We should be able to eat up this Double Edge, right? It's Burn now. He's got to be going for a Double Edge, right? Yeah, he goes for double edge. Again, we should be able to soak this up. Yeah, all day. Thank you, Burn. And Heat Wave, if it double connects here, that'll be beautiful. That would be beautiful. It does. So that should be a double KO, right? Does not pick up a double KO. But again, I'm not too worried about the low bunny. I'm not too worried about the low bunny. Yeah, we got the burn on that thing. I could protect my nine tails and just get after with characters because he is plus two. But I wonder who his final Pokemon is. I really do wonder who his final Pokemon is. It's gonna be Heracross here. Heracross has got to go. So do I Heat Wave here? Yeah, I think I just have to drop it. Or I could protect and just get rid of the low pony and then make it a 2v1. That might be my play. Do that and then just Waterfall should be able to pick up the KO even in this drought. Actually, we'll play it safe and we'll go for an Ice Fang. But yeah, let's just protect the Nine Tails. Let's just make sure we get rid of the low pony. And I think my Gyarados can outspeed, right? It does. Beautiful. So Gyarados outspeeds. We protect. We go after Low Pony. All he has is Heracross left. And I wonder what moves he's rocking. Hopefully he goes after Nine Tails, right? He does go for a Stone Edge after that. So that's a big time protect from us. Because if that would have hit all my uh my Gyarados, that could have been a problem. That could have been a problem. But now we just drop a Heat Wave. We go with an Ice Fang. Ice Fang's definitely going to be a little bit better here. And hopefully we win this battle. Gyarados outspeeds. Nice little Ice Fang. Built. Doing more than half. That's beautiful. And does Nine Tails. Oh, we get the flinch. We get the flinch and nine tails coming in hot here with the heat wave and there it is ladies and gentlemen our first win for today's video we got the showcase mag mortar doing some crazy damage with flamethrower and setting up two burns with flame body you gotta love it third and final battle coming at you guys we are sitting at one and one with one victory and one loss and look at the team that we're going up against such a cool team he's got mew he's got houndoom venusaur luxray swampert and scissor over here all those pokemon look so dope except for the mew because you know 
I do not have a mythical, but he's bringing a mythical. But I'm gonna have to win this battle while he has a mythical. But I'm just gonna go into the Mag Mortar and Ninetales lead. I feel like it's really, really good. We can control the battle a lot with that. And the only Pokemon I'm really kind of worried about is gonna be Houndoom a little bit. So I might bring Gyarados in the back end. Actually, Titar would be a lot better. So I'm gonna go Titar and then final Pokemon. But I bring Big Daddy Honchkrow over here. He's just a man. Or I can bring Raichu over here for fake out control or lightning rod onto that Pokemon. But I'm I'm liking Honch, man. Honch got ripped on in uh that last battle that we won, but we gotta we gotta make up for that. We gotta make up for it. We got fake tears and sludge bombed on, which I was not expecting. But he ends up going Mew alongside with Houndoom. And Houndoom could be flash fired, which I am terrified of. It could be flash fired. Um what can I do it? I could hard swap into the T Tar here. I could hard swap into T Tar here. I could just start flamethrowing this slot right here first. I could go here and then I could just go protect, which I'm kind of leaning towards. And then hard swapping into the T-Tar because I want to do as much damage as I can onto this Mew first and foremost before swapping and changing the one. Right? Or I could have swapped into Haunch, man. But I need T-Tar. I do need T-Tar here. We're going to outspeed with our Choice Scarf. Flamethrower coming out of my cannon hands right into the Mew. And Mac Mortar getting work done. Dark Pulse is going to get protected. Huge play by us. Mew, can you show me that you're doubling down into him? Ice Beam. You're going to Ice Beam into my Mac Mortar? What are you, crazy? Don't freeze me. Don't freeze my fire Pokemon. That would that would been that would have cried a little bit. But since he's going for Dark Pulse, it is time to swap into the T Tar. It's just a great swap. Or I can swap into the Haunch. I just think T Tar is to play. And the reason I say T Tar is to play is because we can pose a, uh, a threat onto the uh the Houndoom and drop a rock on it if we need to. But I really want to get out Haunch going this battle. The Magmortar is thriving right now. Magmortar is going to take out the Mew here. It outspeeds it all day. We are chilling here fine. And if he goes to a Dark Pulse, actually, he can't be burned. Never mind. I was going to say, if he goes to a Dark Pulse into... Actually, Dark Pulse is special anyway. Dark Pulse is special. I was going to say, if he goes into a Dark Pulse into my Mech Mortar, he would get burned. But he's not going to do that. He's going to Dark Pulse probably into the T-Tar slot. No, he does go into Mech Mortar. How dare you? How dare you? But we are posing a threat right now. Again, we still have speed. So I'm just going to keep flamethrowing that right slot down. Try to get some burns. Try to get off as much damage as I can. And I think I just rock slide on top of it, right? Because Houndoom has got to go. He has got to go. Gotta get him out of here. Gotta get him out of here. But I'm looking on my other monitor right now at my little team preview at my recording setup. And I just love uh, Honchkrow's uh, animation or his gif. It's sprite of it just flapping its big old wings. It's just hilarious. But at this point, we cannot do that. So I could hard swap out you back into the nine toes if I need to. But that would grant sun. That would grant sun. And I think I do want sun on the field. The reason I want Sun on the field is going to be because he's probably going for a water move with that Swampert. So I'm going to swap my Mech Mortar, get my Choice Scarf back, and then we're going to go from there. That's my play all day. That is my play all day. He could have been going for he could be going for a ground move. Ground move would be smart. But we'll see what he wants to do here. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse here into the Ninetales slot. Ninetales can soak that. Thank you very much. T-Tar's going to go next, and we're going to take out the Houndoom here, right? Houndoom should die to this. Yeah, Houndoom gets dropped out here. Swampert's a bulk guy over here. I know it was not very effective, but still. That was some hefty bulkage right there. And do we get the flinch? Because if I could solar pat or solar beam right into the Swampert, he's dead. We do not get it. And he's going to set up a stealth rocks and doubles. Dude's got some moxie. He's got some moxie. So we're going to see his final Pokemon. I might hard swap the T-Tar here right to Honcho, because like I said, I want to get Honcho out here. And just solar beam that Swampert. Because if I could solar beam the Swampert, that's going to be game. It's going to be game set match. I'll take him out in one shot. It's four times super effective. And he's going to throw out his final Pokemon, Luxray. Luxy Luxray. And do we think Luxray is going for an electric move into that T-Tar slot? I'm going to be upset if I hard swap into, uh, if I hard swap into Honcho here. And she gets, and it just gets electrified. <laughs> like, that would be awful. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be a rough day for Honcho today. That'd be a rough day for Honcho. But we'll see what he wants to do. I wouldn't mind if he protects his Swampert. Or the Luxray. That'd be kind of fine. But we're playing this third battle really, really well. Swapping in and out, making some good calls, making some good plays. And we're going to get out my boy, Big Daddy Honch over here. Oh, and I forgot about Stealth Rocks. How did I already forget about the Rocks? I'm going to Solar Beam here. And that's cool. We out We're going to say bye bye to Swamper. Rough day for Honch, yo. Hopping in on Stealth Rocks. That one's on me, buddy. Don't take it too. Don't, don't take it too serious. So we drop Solar Beam. We say bye bye to Swamps. And Luxray, if you go for the electric move into my Hodge, bro, I'm gonna be very upset. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna have to talk to you in the office. Wild charge. Okay, cool. He goes into Ninetales. I'm cool with that. Hodge came to play. 
Entro came to play. I could drop some sucker punches. I can do a lot, and I can just bring out Magma Mortar here. It's gonna be GG's, and he gets burned. What? What you just get burned from? Flame Orb. I was wondering. I was like, what is going on here? Like, how did I burn you? How did I burn you? But yeah, he has a Flame Orb. This is going to be Guts Luxray, right? and I don't think he stands a chance here. Oh my God, your Stealth Rocks almost took me out. I could have hurt the soul. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into a Flamethrower. I think I'm just gonna drop a Sucker Punch, and just roll out there with Hanscro. So Hanscro getting after it. I'm just gonna drop a sucker punch, yo and send that. And look at that damage from my boy, Magmortar outspeeds with Choice Scarf. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record for today's video. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The first battle we lost wasn't looking too, too hot for us, and then we go back to back at battle numbers two and battle number three. Great set of matches for today's video. We got to use Magmortar and showcase them to its fullest potential. I absolutely love that Pokemon, especially in the drought. It just does a ridiculous amount of damage. We showcased it in multiple battles. We were dropping flamethrowers left and right and just taking out Pokemon easily. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.